everyone, and welcome to your All Levels Yoga Practice. I'm excited that you're joining me today, and I'm looking forward to flowing together. Today's practice is going to be a full body flow, and hopefully it will feel really good when we're done. Feel free to grab your props, like blocks, a strap, or a mat, whatever you may need to practice. Otherwise, I'll be teaching without the props to help you if you don't have any when you're at home. Let's go ahead and lay our mats out, just like mine, and we'll get started shortly laying down on our backs. Lying all the way down on our backs, I want you to kind of find a cozy place where your back, neck, and shoulders can lay. And then I want your arms to also rest by your sides. Palms can face up. And then go ahead and close your eyes with me. And I want you to breathe three times in and out of your nose even on your exhale. So ujjayi, our ocean sounding breath. Exhale. One more time, pulling the breath in on your inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and place your hands on your belly with me. So you're gonna start to feel the breath in the belly. So you can close the eyes here. Inhale, breathe into your hands. Exhale, breathe out, let the belly fall. Good, inhale, breathe into your hands. Exhale, breathe out and let the belly fall. One more time, breathe into your hands and then let the belly fall. Beautiful. Go ahead and inhale, take both of your arms over the head, so big stretch, reach with me. And then exhale, right knee comes to chest, so you'll take both of your hands, you'll reach them over top of your shin, you'll hug your knee to your chest as you hold on to your shin nice and tight. And then as you pull your right knee in tighter, I want you to feel the nice deep stretch to the left hip flexor, trying to think about lengthening the left leg as you compress the right leg. And then on your next breath, extend the right leg all the way out, pause, and now let's go the left side. So inhale the hands up and over the left shin bone. Exhale, bring the thigh into your stomach as you push your left foot forward as if you were standing. Right foot also pushes forward. And then again, I'm using a little bit of muscle here. I'm trying to drive my knee a little bit deeper towards my left armpit. Good, exhale, extend both legs long. Good. Inhale, bend your right knee, bend your left knee, glute bridge. Go ahead and drive the feet down, raise your hips up. Palms up or down next to you. And if your fingers don't touch your heels, that's okay. Maybe that's on purpose or maybe you can walk them in closer so that they do touch. Take another big breath, start to firm up the glutes as you lift your legs, or excuse me, lift your hips a little bit higher. And then on your exhale for me, come on down, low back meets the mat. Good. One more time, bring those heels in a little bit tighter. It's gonna force a little bit more glute work. It's gonna shorten the hamstrings and that's okay. Exhale, press down, drive your hips up. Hug inner thighs together, raise your hips just a little bit higher, three, two, and then exhale, bone by bone, come on down. Bring your knees to your chest, so give yourself a giant hug for the first time. Rock a little bit from side to side. Good, and then exhale your feet into the air. Now hold the back of those legs. Let's rock up one, two more, two, one more time with me, three. Pausing at the top, pulling the knees into the stomach. Sit up nice and tall, lift your heart, engage your back muscles. Keep reaching your chest forward, keep firming everything in, and then extend your arms out, four. Good, hold here, three. Navasana, boat pose, challenging core exercise, stay with me, two. And then cross your ankles, reach your arms all the way up. 
Your shins are also crossed, seated Sukhasana easy pose. And now take your time, please twist to the right. So your right fingertips are behind you, your left hand is holding your right knee, and you're starting the rotation as you look over your back right shoulder. And then I invite you to take your left shoulder, lean into your left knee, raise your right arm up for me, please. And stretch your low back. You're here for three. Keep creating space all along the side body, two. And then on your exhale, you're gonna come all the way up, twist. Maybe you can twist a little bit more. And then gracefully find center. Nice, and let's lift our arms all the way up. And then seated twist to the left. So same exact idea, rotate. Lift up through the belly, exhale, twist. Relax the shoulders, three. Two, hopefully releasing some tension in the back. You're gonna lean your right shoulder into your right knee. And then I invite you to take that left arm all the way up and maybe it reaches straight up. Or if you can, that diagonal lean for the front corner edge of your mat. And then when you're ready, rise all the way up. Exhale, continue to twist. And then spin forward. We're gonna come into boat one more time. So knees to chest, hold on tight. Option one, option two, flex those feet, reach forward. Maybe legs straighten. Up to you, you're here for four. Come on, think about your core holding you nice and strong. Two. Exhale, with or without your hands, fold forward, feet, head comes down. And then I invite you just to kind of press down into your feet, maybe open them up six to eight inches apart. You're gonna let your head fall down to the ground. And then exhale, breathe out. You're gonna shake your head from side to side looking left and right, and then gently and slowly bend your knees. So the tighter you are, the more bent your knees are if that's comfortable, and then just feel your body hang, three. And if your hands aren't touching the ground like mine, that's okay, and it's normal, especially if you're tight, two. Let your head fall below your heart as long as it feels safe and healthy. And then on three, let's bring our feet together. Let's place our hands on our hips and then slowly stand up. Good, let's reach our arms all the way up and bring the hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale through heart center, bow forward. Take a flat back. Exhale, plank, one foot and then the other. Take your time. Lower with your knees or full chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale as you push into your feet. Take your time to downward facing dog. Exhale to breathe out as you arrive. Let's take our right foot, pull it through and step. And then inhale, bring both our arms up for lunge. Exhale, pull the hands down to your heart, and then we're gonna step our left foot up to meet our right foot in chair, and then we're gonna step it right back. How about twice more? Step it forward, step it back, step it forward, and now hold it as you step back. Raise both arms all the way up on your inhale. Good, exhale your hands down. Step back, plank. Exhale, side plank on your right hand, so drop your feet to the right. Raise your left arm to the sky. Notice how my feet are scissored, one in front of the other. Exhale, plank. And then vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, and then downward facing dog again. Breathe out. Now, pull your left knee tight to your stomach, step through. Notice I'm not encouraging you to lift your leg. It's a different way to step forward. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. 
Good, keep your arms where they are. Keep reaching. Now, pull the hands down to heart center. Exhale, right toes, step to left. Step back. Right toes, step to left. Step back. One more time, step up. Step back. Should have built a little heat in that standing leg glute. Raise both arms up. Good, and then on your exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Plank. Drop both your feet left. Scissor or stack, remember bottom knee can come down, reach up through right arm. Three. Maybe look up. Two. Exhale, plank. And then again, chaturanga. Up dog. And then lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Exhale, pressing back. Lifting and lengthening through the spine. Breathing in and out as you tilt your tailbone up, softening the bend in your knees, finding your breath. On your next inhale, let's take our toes and simply walk them up to our hands so that we're here together. And then I want you to gently fold forward. Now bring those feet back together just like when we were stepping into chair and back to our lunge and come all the way into chair with me. Good, hold strong in chair pose. Engage your core nice and tight. So I want you to feel your hips reaching down towards the ground if you can, trying to sit down a little bit deeper. Now we're gonna try to step back with our left foot. Join me, lunge, chair, lunge, chair. One more. Lunge. Hold your chair. Good. Open arm twist to the right. Keep your knees forward. Try to keep your hips behind you. Try to bend your knees. Three. Let's look over the right fingertips. Two. And then inhale, come back to chair. Exhale, fold. Take a nice flat back and then you're gonna step the left foot back and I want you to place your knee on the mat gently. Your hips are gonna slightly move forward, pause. From here, inhale, I invite you to bring your arms up. So a knee down lunge can feel a little aggressive, so if it does, pull it back. Otherwise, settle in, three. Get tall, two. And then on one, Ardha Hanuman, half split, frame your foot, drive your hips back, walk your right foot forward, heel toe, heel toe. And then I want you to straighten your right leg. So your toes are gonna reach up to the sky, your heels are pressing down. And you're breathing for three. Two. And then you're gonna exhale, drag your heel back, re-bend your front knee. Let's take a nice twist. So pick up the left kneecap, keep the left hand down. You can always keep your left knee down if you want to, and then take your right arm up, twist. Look to the sky as you feel this rotation, three. Open your ribs, two. Exhale, right hand to earth, step back, plank. Now again, knee down, chaturanga, maybe even skip it or lower with me. Inhale up, super strong. And then exhale, we enjoy downward facing dog together. Beautiful. Now look at those hands, bend your knees, step or jump up, your choice. I'm gonna take a big step today. Halfway lift the spine. And then gently fold. Take a standing back bend with me. So raise both arms up and lean back, three. Get really tall, two, and then pull the hands to the heart for one. Rest them by the sides, we're gonna come back to chair. Sweep, bend, reach and hold. Exhale the hands to the heart, join me here or here, really depends on your comfort level, okay? Right foot, chair, right foot, chair. One more with me, right foot, chair. 
Now, if your arms are in the air, pull them to your heart and then open arm twist. So you'll notice I'm keeping my knees forward and then I'm rolling my ribs open from the left, trying to see these back fingers as I reach forward. Three, keep twisting, two, Inhale, center, reach up, come on. Exhale, fold. Take a nice flat back. Again, this idea is to give lift to the spine, to lengthen out, to lift the tailbone. Exhale, step the right foot back to lunge. Gently place the right knee down, sink the pelvis and the hips forward. Now again, a little aggressive would be staying here, maybe pull back, up to you and then take your arms up when you're ready. Think about the heart reaching up, thinking about leaning back, lifting. Three. Get extra tall, two. And then exhale as you open the arms and bring them back to the mat. Ardha Hanumanan, half split pose. Walk your hands, or excuse me, walk your foot forward. Let the left foot drive down into the mat, meaning the heel is pressing down and the toes are lifting up, so there's a dorsal flexion here in the foot. As you fold over the shin, you may feel like this is too much, so bend the knee a little bit. Or if you can, maybe walk your hands forward. Three. Two. Good. Bring the hands back under the shoulders. Gracefully pull the leg back some and then re-bend your knee. Now you can keep your back knee down, otherwise join me, pick it up. Keep the right hand where it is and then gently extend your left arm to the sky. So your job is to press through your back heel, don't let the leg sag, unless of course the knee is on the mat. And then rotate the gaze up if possible. Exhale, high plank, one hand and then the other. Maybe hands and knees for a knee down plank or a tabletop. Chaturanga Dandasana. Urva Mukha Svanasana, that means upward facing dog. And then exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Lower the knees to the earth on your exhale. Good. Bring your torso all the way up. Keep your spine long. Inhale, step your right foot forward when you're ready. Exhale, bend your right knee and sink in. Now we've been here before. This time I want to add a twist. So take your left arm all the way up to the sky. Take your tricep, cross it over. And then bring your hands together and twist. Three. Look over your back shoulder if you can. Two. And then inhale. Take both arms up for me. Take a nice big stretch. And then bring your hands to your hips. You're going to pull back out of that lunge. Ready, set, join me. And then bring your right knee to meet your left knee. Left foot steps. And then give me a hinge. Right arm rises, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. And then bring your hands together at your heart. Good, rotate. Look over your back shoulder as much as you can. Try to soften through the upper back muscles. Let your hips sink forward. Three, two, and then inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. Good, exhale, hands to hips, and then drive your left hip back to meet your right. Sit on your heels, so that might be hard on your knees, but do the best you can, and then walk your hands forward. And we'll find our first child's pose of practice. This is a great place to slow down the breath. Figure out how to calm the mind and body right here and just be in this moment. You're going to gently elevate the spine and tabletop, hands and knees, so that your hips can move a little bit for me, side to side movement. 
And then you're going to flip one hand and then the other because I want you to work into your forearms and start to find that really deep stretch. And again, you may need to do, like I said, one at a time or you may not be able to get them fully turned. Some people will just turn them out. That might be plenty depending on how you feel. Three. Good. I'm going to move my hips back a little bit. That's going to intensify the stretch. Two. And then exhale, we'll plant our forearms for our last kind of working pose here. Fingertips face forward. Try to get your middle fingers to line up with your elbows. And then I invite you to curl your toes. Look back at your toes as you look underneath your body with your butt in the air so your knees are off the mat. Good. Dolphin pose strengthens the shoulders. You should feel the abs working. I invite you to breathe. Three. Two. Knees to earth. Exhale, straighten arms, one and then the other. Whew. And then have a seat on your bottom. Nice work. If dolphin is more new for you or just you're already sore maybe and this is kind of your post-workout stretch, you'll notice that that pose can be really intimidating, especially because it's pretty challenging. Bring your feet together and sit up nice and tall. And then exhale when you're ready, gently round the spine forward and then see if you can bring your forehead closer to your toes. Maybe you put a block in between your forehead and your feet, maybe a big pillow. Or maybe if you kind of have a little bit more room, you'll notice I can kind of round and get my forehead to my thumbs. Three, stay where you are. Two, don't judge how much room you have in the pose. Instead, just be in your pose. And then on your next breath, gently bring the spine all the way to an upright position. Good. Bring the knees together. If you remember, we were in boat at the beginning of practice, so we're going to find that again. Hips come forward. Arms move forward one foot and then the other. To modify, you can hold on to those legs. You can even put your feet down and reach forward. Otherwise, stay here with me. And if you've already been here, good job. Four. Come on. Three. Maybe those legs straighten. Two. And we're going to cross our ankles again just like we did before. Sit up nice and tall. Take your arms to the sky. And then twist right. See if you can get a little bit more rotation this round. Look over the back shoulder. Left shoulder leans to left knee, right arm up. Try to reach diagonally over the head with the right fingertips. Good. Take your right hand, grab your left kneecap, and then you're going to kind of puff up your back and round in. Three. Two. And then inhale, sweep the arms up. Last time. Good. Exhale. Twist with me, please. So put your hand behind your back. Hold the opposite knee. Sit up tall and then find that nice, gentle rotation. Three. Keep pressing down into your tailbone. Two. And then lean the shoulder to the knee. Raise your left arm up and over and again, reaching, lengthening, stretching, trying to find the opposite corner of the mat. Exhale, grab onto your knee, and then here you go. Tuck your chin with me. Three, two, and then inhale, free those arms. One more time, reach up with me. Bring your hands to your heart, and then exhale them by your sides. Help yourself down onto your back, nice and slow motion. And then this time, pull the right knee in, left leg long. And then exhale, we'll take the right foot to the sky. Peace fingers to big toes if you have room. If not, hold the back of the leg above or below the knee. And then you're going to gently pull the right leg towards you. So we're stretching our right hamstring. We're pushing our left foot forward, and we're opening up the left hip flexor at the same time. Three. I'm going to let my right leg go a little bit to the right just because I have my big toe. And if you don't have that, that's okay. You may just pull the leg straight up. Two. 
And then as the leg comes back to center, give it a nice hug. And then let's find the left knee. So first, reach your hands around the shin, right leg long, and just pause. This is an opportunity for you to be still and quiet. And then as we extend our left leg up, I'm going to take my left peace sign fingers to my left big toe. I want you to feel the stretch of this left hamstring, and you'll notice my left shoulder is slightly off the ground, and I do want to work to pull that down. And again, my knee is slightly bent, so whether you're holding above or below the knee or the foot with me, just be good to the body and bend the knee. Let the left leg slightly fall open, just enough to stretch it, and then maybe pull your left toes kind of towards your left ear, three. Good, stretch through your hamstring, groin, two. Bring your leg all the way back up, pause here. And then left knee comes to chest. As both knees come in, close your eyes and rock a little bit from side to side. Find a moment for yourself here just to really thank the body for the movement and your soul for the practice. Exhale your feet on the ground. So I want you to bend your knees and let your knees touch. It's called knock knee posture, also known as A-frame pose. And then rest your palms face up as you close your eyes. And we opened with three breaths, so we will close with the same. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. And exhale, three together. Maybe you want four or five or six, so stay where you are. Otherwise, let your knees come apart as you give them a hug. And then very slowly make your way to seated. Take your time. Again, staying quiet for longer. You can always, you know, stick around. Bring your hands to your heart. I hope your body feels good and you were able to advance the practice if it was comfortable or take it down a notch if needed. And enjoy the rest of the beautiful day. Let's bring our heads forward together. Namaste and thank you so much for choosing to practice with me today. Nice work.